Hey guys, happy Monday. Here we are, a little late, but nonetheless, I was hoping that the um, weather would get better here at home in Miami because I depend on like the natural light, but I was like, I'm just gonna wait all day. It's not gonna get any better. And don't worry about the screaming in the background. I feel like I'm always apologizing for the sounds in the background. You guys just have to know that when you watch my videos, you're gonna hear screaming children, at least until the summer is over. But the baby, he's not really a baby, year and a half, he just discovered tickling and his siblings discovered tickling. And he just, I think he like, like all of us has like a love hate for it, but he is just cracking up. So they're tickling him right now. And he's, he's cracking up, but also, I don't know, can't, he just, you just go like this with like your little finger and he starts cracking up. It's really funny. Um, so that's that's what's going on. All right, let's do this. Um, no announcements today, just just cards. Uh, it's definitely something happening. There's a lot of um, shifts happening. There's people, a lot of like, woo, like big awakenings kind of things that, which is what the eclipse was about. Um, a lot of us are having like, moments of real big shifts that we've been waiting for for a long time and they were probably not what we expected because of course we always imagine it being somewhere else or being another way or at least being more great graceful <laughs> than what it is um but the good news is that we we let go a lot um over the last few weeks so if you're nervous or you're scared embrace it um it's natural to feel that way and i'm excited for all of you okay all right so let's do this card number one Peace. So this is like the death card typically in the, in the tarot deck. Um, but since this is an angel tarot deck, it's like there's nothing like scary in it. But peace is exactly what I was just talking about. It's letting go. So it's release the past. That there is more enriching, enri I can't read today, I'm sorry. Enriching, enriching, future coming, let go and let God. So this card is about um, trusting. This is about... Um, really trusting that even though your reality may not look a certain way, to trust what your gut is telling you, to really trust your insides, to know that like what you are leaving behind is the right thing to be leaving behind. And the, the hard thing about like letting go of something, leaving it behind is because we can't really always see the future. And um, we're kind of like, I'm gonna let go of this thing, but like, if I let go of this thing, like, what does the future look like? And this one is like, just kind of reminding you that it's whatever you left behind was the right thing to leave behind and to really trust that there's this new future coming for you soon and really staying in that space. Um, I think it's also, you know, it says let go and let God, which is kind of, you know, don't feel like this moment should look like anything else. You know, like don't feel like you're doing it wrong or that you should be feeling excited or you should be feeling any different. Um, to not kind of control the way you're feeling, but to just recognize that like you've let go a lot, you've let go of something really big, you're shifting into a new place, and not having expectations about what that shift is supposed to look like or what it's supposed to feel like. Because I think a lot of times like when we let go, we have these ideas of like, oh, it's supposed to feel great, but like, no, you may be mourning, you know, you're mourning something, um, you may be feeling really tired, really heavy, um, it, it, you know, to, and, you know, maybe it feels great. For some of us, it's gonna be like, oh my God, this feels amazing, right? But not judging what your release looks like or what it feels like, and just because it feels maybe sad or tiring doesn't mean that it was the wrong thing, right? Because I think we tend to think like, oh, only good feelings are the ones that mean that we're on the right path, and that's not that's not true. I mean, you're, you're moving into the unknown, and it's scary. So to not, to really, the whole part of saying let go and let God, it's basically like let go and don't try to control what this time is feeling like and looking like and to release that to God, to your angels, to your divine guidance and really just being like, okay, like I let this go and trust. This is all about trust. So supporting yourself in you're in trusting, like whatever it is that you need to do to feel more trusting in this process, in yourself, in your own intuition, to, to make sure you're supporting yourself that way. Okay, all right. Okay, page 
age of Ariel. And this is an excellent opportunity will be offered to you. Scholarships for the pursuit of education, time to get to work. Okay, so this is about, um, this is a great card, you know? This is about um, if you're, there's a lot of books in this picture. So if you're like looking for a job or, um, or education or whatever, like that, this is a, a thumbs up. Um, but more than anything, I would say this is about looking forward. Uh, it's about getting your hands dirty for sure, but like looking forward to what is not, not just, I'm sorry, it's not even the right thing. It's about like doing the work that needs to be done because it's like opportunity has switched, come in. So like this space that you've created is nice and clear. So to do, to not kind of just sit back and just like wait or, or, or even um, spend a long time like visioning, but more so like doing, like actually being grounded and doing the things that you need to do. Um, doing, you know, like this is about education and research and this is, you know, about getting support, about like doing the work, right? So this would be, for example, um, okay, a lot of healing has happened or whatever, so now I'm going to like, sign up for this class I've been wanting to take or I'm gonna like fix my resume and actually send it out or I'm gonna start saving that money like I said I was going to or I am um, going to fix my dating profile and or I'm gonna find that matchmaker or I'm gonna read that book so this is like an action card about doing what you know needs to be done and getting your hands dirty but being excited about it really believing that like what you are going to do whatever task you choose for yourself um whether it means like okay i'm gonna we're gonna go shop for a house or we're gonna like to really believe that it's going to work out well but to to remember that it's going to require work that it's going to be like a bit of a oops, sorry guys um kind of a you know a heavy working time and to be courageous about like getting your hands dirty and doing it but knowing that like you gotta you gotta do the thing. So this is a very grounding card where, for instance, like the first one is more like the upper chakra stuff. This is more like, okay, we're in the ground, we're doing the work like on earth, and we're we're actually making things happen. It's not a push, but it's like almost like there's this opportunity in front of me and I'm gonna I'm gonna grab it like by the balls, right? Like I'm gonna take full advantage of it. So really taking advantage, like digging in, like of this space that's been created and like really going for it. So that's what this card's about. Yay! All right guys, that's it. Those are our two cards. Um, thanks so much for watching and I will see you later this week.